I'm Pete from SKF. Today we're working on a 2005 Dodge Ram 1500 two-wheel drive truck. I'm going to show you how to properly inspect and replace the rear drive shaft U-joint on this vehicle. Uh, we'll be replacing it with one of SKF's Brute Force Series U-joints. All right, we're going to go ahead and take out the drive shaft from the truck here. What you want to do though, before you remove it, is mark the drive shaft flange here to the differential pinion flange. You'll notice I have a yellow mark. Uh, when we put it back, we want those yellow marks to line back up so we're not actually spinning the drive shaft in a different position. Now that we removed the drive shaft from this Dodge 1500, we're going to inspect the U joints. First thing you want to do is grab the drive shaft and the yoke. And what you want to do is you want to spin this thing lock to lock this way and this way. And if you feel any type of binding or looseness in there, the U joint needs to be replaced. Now you're going to want to do the same thing with the front yoke. There we go. So now we went ahead and removed all the outside clips on the U-joint here. Now there's many different methods on how to remove a U-joint. Now for this application, we're gonna be using a ball joint, U-joint press set uh, to remove the U-joint here. Now that we removed the one cap, we flipped the drive shaft around, so now we're gonna be pressing the cross outward to remove the other cap. So now that we've taken the U-joint off the drive shaft, we're going to go ahead and take the U-joint now off the flange by using our press set tool. Now, next thing, once you've got the U-joint off, you're, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clean up some of the surfaces, and some of the surfaces that you're going to see, I'm going to point out to them, the groove that actually holds the clip in, uh, very important to clean that out so the clip seats well, and also where the cap rides inside the yoke here, you're going to want to uh, clean that up, make sure it's nice and clean. On this application, we're going to be installing the SKF Brute Force U-joint. Uh, the advantages you have with the Brute Force is that it's designed for high torque, high horsepower applications, uh, has better sealing capabilities on it for extreme conditions. So we've gone ahead and set the U-joint uh, into this yoke right here, the flange yoke. And what I like to do is on the opposite end, the end that's going to be driven all the way up, I like to put the snap ring in first uh, so we know where we're going to stop at. So Next thing I'm going to do right now is put the snap ring in. So we're going to use the press tool to, pr again, press it into the uh, yoke flange here. But what I'm not going to use, I'm not going to be using an impact to drive it in. I'm going to be using a ratchet with the socket right here. Now that we have the U-joint in place here, we're going to go ahead and flip it around here so we can install our other outside lock. So now that we got the first cap in, we're going to go ahead and finish it up with the second cap right here. Make sure you don't drop any needle bearings. So now that we have the U-joint all pressed in, now we're going to go ahead and install our clips. Very easy. Now this is an outside lock style clip. Finally, before installing the drive shaft back in the truck, you want to make sure that the U-joint is not binding in any manner. Uh, it doesn't have any type of looseness. Now, some, some brand new U-joints, once you get them installed, you'll notice they're going to be a little bit tight. And I'm going to show you how to loosen them up a little bit. Take it. Tap the ears, and it's nice and free. So we've gone ahead and put the drive shaft back in the transmission. Now we're going to basically mount the drive shaft to the differential pinion flange. Now remember what we had last time. We marked the drive shaft um, flange to the differential pinion flange so our yellow marks line up. And then we're going to go ahead and install our 
uh, drive shaft bolts. Now, these bolts, before you install them, you want to make sure you put some thread locker on them and torque them down to manufacturer specifications. So as you can see, this is one of our greasable brute force U-joints. So the final step is basically give it a little grease. Uh, you don't want to over-grease it. Just give it a little bit more than what the factory has in there. All right. So we took it for a test drive just to make sure we had no driveline vibrations. Everything tested out okay. And remember, always install confidence with SKF bearings, seals, and U-joints. For complete product information, visit us at skfpartsinfo.com and follow us on Twitter at skfpartsinfo.